Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudemir here. Let's talk today about RTSP URL for IP cameras. As you can see, I have my high vision camera working via web browser and I want to find the RTSP URL. So it's pretty simple. I can use a software like this one, the OnVIF Device Manager. The link here in the description, it's a free software. And the software works with OnVIF. That's why it's called OnVIF Device Manager. And you can just select the camera, let's say this high vision, for example, click here on live view and you get the RTSP URL. I can just copy here on the bottom and test it with the software. Let me just copy this one here and test using the VOC software. As you can see, I have another camera already running here. Let me just click on media, open network stream, delete this one and paste the new one. That's for the high vision. Okay. So wait for a while, the software tries to connect to the camera and here you go, I have my high vision camera running, connected to the software via RTSP URL using the RTSP protocol. Pretty simple. Let me do another one here with the Amcrest camera. Same principle, I come here to live video, I get the RTSP URL here, I copy it. And in this case, I need to copy more. I need to copy, uh, copy this part about the channel. You need to test with your camera how it works, okay? Come here to open our screen again. Just delete this one, paste the new one, hit play, and it's not working. Okay, let me just come back here. It still needs the entire RTSP URL. As I was saying, you need to test in yours, see if it works. Open our work for the stream. Let me just paste the entire command, play it, and here you go. Now it's working. Okay, for the Amcrest. So just be careful with the RTSP URL. We need to use part of the part of the command or the entire command that depends on your camera and the extra parameters that you can have here. Let's try now with different cameras here. Have more cameras, have real link cameras, three of them. Let's get this latest one here and try as well. Click here on live video, wait for a while, it loads, and I just copy and come back to VOC, media, open network stream. Just delete this one and paste the new one. Hit OK. Username and password. You can use uh, extra parameters to include the username and password if you want to, OK, for your software, for example, so you don't need to type it. And here we have, it's working with the real link camera as well. And Let's try now with Axis camera. Axis is a pretty popular camera. Let's see if it works with the RTSP protocol as well. Here we have the RTSP URL. Let me just copy and paste. I think uh, it's gonna work until here, profile one. Let's try it this way, okay? Just copying part of the, the URL. Just delete this one, paste it here. And let me just remove more of this. I, I know that works with this command until media.amp here. Play it and here you go. It's working with Axis camera as well, okay? Uh, sometimes it doesn't ask for the username and password because I already have the information here cached on the software. Okay, so that's the, not asking for the username and the password. But it works, all right? So if you need to get the RTSP command for your camera, you just need to use this software. There are different ways to do it as well. For some camera it doesn't work. If they don't have OnVIF, you have a different way to do it. But in this video, it's just about this software that's easy for you to use it, okay? And that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. See you in the next one.